Over on Channel 2, we have Sale of the Century, but now it's 9pm, and that means it's time for the Thames Men. Hello, how are you? I'm back from my travels. There's a, there's a weird smell in my studio. Kind of smells of like Forex and Vegemite. What, what have you been up to? Does it smell like stick in the dump? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been unfaithful to you. Uh, I, I, you did a, thank you, Chris, for stepping in the other day. Uh, and Oh, by the way, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. Hello, George from Los Angeles. My name is Alex. I'm in San Francisco. Is that and- how you pronounce it? You go, Alex. It looks it's like it's a not mini Alec. Uh, what, what I loathe is when people call me Alec, A-L-E-C, because that basically is an infirm Scottish gardener. <laughs> uh, Alex with an X. Uh, Alec, could you deal with the rhododendrons? <laughs> Alec! <laughs> Alec! Did you know rhododendrons apparently were introduced by the Romans to England? Oh, yeah, Why? <laughs> there's, no, there's no punchline. It's like, da-dum, because, I don't know, apparently, when you go around the woods in England, you have rhododendron bushes, someone says they're not native, and they came about with the Romans. No, they're not. They're bought from China. The they're Romans China. weren't in China. I don't know, but they were they were Chinese plants. They were brought over Chi- from Chinese China. Romans? From the, yeah, they're the worst. <laughs> I tell you, they're small and angry. <laughs> Sorry, but, but very straight roads. <laughs> yeah, but really straight <laughs> roads. That's it. They go full electric, and they like a good steam bath. <laughs> and dumplings, and uh, and and grapes. <laughs> dumplings with grapes in it. Uh, 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 angry, <laughs> angry Chinese Romans. I tell you, they're going to take over the world. Okay, no, well, whatever. Rhododendrons anyway, Rodod- 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 are from China, but also Nerium or Landia. Do you know? Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the garden. <laughs> Nerium or Landia. You know Nerium or Landia? No. It's a plant that grows very much around our area because we're both in West uh, California, West America. And it's a plant that, um, that uh, you know, dries in dry conditions that flowers also in Greece. But they say it killed off the Romans because the sap is poisonous. And if you, and they cook, apparently, the, uh, you know, the, the Romans kill, uh, cook their sausages on it and then got poisoned. Oh, really? Well, poor old Romans. <laughs> Should have been vegetarians. <laughs> Do you know there was a uh, LGBTQ plus Roman legion? And really? yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only that, this is absolutely true. They would put the couples together, and they were in there. So I can but imagine if if you watch your wife get battered or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have you. No, it'd be <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but apparently, they were fierce. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I, I mean, I've I've walked through the tenderloin in San Francisco, and I'm not going to mess with some of those people, you know. What would you What would you rather face, right? A crowd of tenderloin people, all right, or a gay Roman legion, or uh, a Roman Chinese legion? Oh. Which Which would be the more fierce? I know for sure. Uh, I think the Roman Chinese legion. I think they'd be like they'd be really feisty and like. Nah. All their all their weapons be pl- plastic. <laughs> they didn't invent it. They made out oh. rhododendrons. I reckon. I reckon the queer legion. Basically, uh, it would be uh, absolutely. I mean, there's no, nothing worse than a lover scorned. Well, that's true. A very good point, sir. What What are we doing, by the way? Why? Are right. We- Hello, everyone. Welcome to the tent with the light reaction. Highly interesting. Um, you know, hot potato catch topic. Over to you. <laughs> um, reaction channel. What have we got today, George? Well, today, this is one of our... So so we've had a curated week, and we've now got some sort of odds and sods, as we call it, and we're going to have a new band to us, something we know nothing about, and our friendly curator has put together for us is something that we have never heard, um, and it's actually kind of on the back of Canada Week. Which, uh, which I loved Canada Week. That did that was fantastic. I loved all the comments. I thought everyone was great. The whole week was fantastic. Will we do a Canada Week 2? 
Who knows? Depends on uh, see how many sort of likes and subscribes you get. See? Anyway. Mm. Uh, so, anyway, so this is a new band called Crownlands. 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 And, and this track is called The Witching Hour. So, we have some notes. Do you want to yes. read the notes? Do you want me to read the we notes? We do have the notes. So, Canadian rock duro, uh, Cody Bowles. Oh. That's an unfortunate name, isn't it? <laughs> How's your bowels, bowels? <laughs> it's better than either. <laughs> either bowels? <laughs> or, or bendy. <laughs> um, Bubbly. <laughs> deep. Um, <laughs> owls, yeah. Uh, owls, yeah, for short. Owls, your bowels. How's your bowels, morning? <laughs> Um, anyway, Canadian rock duo <laughs> Cody and Alzia Bowles on drums and vocals and Kevin Komu on everything else. Folk and blues to psychedelic prog rock formed in 215, but the first album coming out... was their Roman legion, were they? They, they weren't a Roman Chinese legion. <laughs> they were the knockoff legion. Knock off. It formed in 2015 on the way from China. All the way from China. The knockoff <laughs> Roman legion. I think <laughs> Sorry, carry on, carry on. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Alzi Bowles, blues to psychedelic, formed in 215, but their first (laughs) album coming out in 220. Uh, They pushed through through their music for Crown Lands to be returned to the indigenous people of Canada. They won the 21 Juno, or is that Juno? Juno Award for Breakthrough Group of the Year. Wow, never even heard of this lot. Never heard of it. Sounds good. Well, how do you know? <laughs> well, you've never mean, heard of them. Notes. I'm just fascinated to see, you know. Yeah, but yeah, I haven't heard them. It I haven't heard them. No, they might be sound terrible, but the, the notes are sound good. All right. Well, All right. The Witching Hour, Electric Witch, live at the Revolution Recording Toronto, 18321. Oh, okay. Well, very current. We're actually stepping into this decade. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Wow. You might have to get your hair cut and leave the 70s behind. Yes, I know. I should get some hair. (laughs) Would I say such a thing? (laughs) I'll just have a go at myself before I stab myself in the eye before you do it. By the way, lovely cardigan. Like it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you know where I got it from? Your mother, because she was so grateful. (laughs) When I visited her. Uh, Are you ready? Yeah. (laughs) Three, two... One, boom. In a long forgotten time I like this. The land is ruled by evil eyes Those fools by hallowed gold soon to be over the fall in autumn's gaze carried by howling wind across the fleeting sunset
whoa. I want to hear more of them. Wow, 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 wow. That was really, really remarkable. That was that was like a progressive Led Zeppelin slash Rush. You know, it was it was it was brilliant. It was, that was it and sounded so good. That was that was live. That was recorded. Yeah, exactly. That was just like that's just two of them. Again, I mean, it's, it's the Canadian tradition of like you know minimalist band, and then you play with your feet to make up for the last le- less people. The um, I mean, the, the song itself absolutely fantastic. If it was five, seven piece, two piece, absolutely brilliant. It had all the textures, had the downs, had the double time mashed potato, it had a little slow. It was all great. The guy's vocals, I mean, there is plant. That was Robert Plant, wasn't it? That 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 range, that sort of control there was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But as you, with with the, with the rush element, with it, where it's slightly cleaner, you know. Well, and it had that progressive element to it, you know, where when a Led Zeppelin song is a much more sort of traditional sort. Well, Cashmere maybe not, but but you know, in some sort of ways. But but it, it had that sort of like I don't know text. I it was I I it needs to I need to listen again. I loved it, and I want to hear more of that band. I think so they, do I. I think live they would. If, if they could do that, like in front of a, uh, an audience, well, the, the, I, I was thinking. I think to myself, it's just like, God, that you know, imagine them with a band, right? But then I thought, well, actually, you'd lose the texture of the Moog, uh, the keyboards underneath, because you yeah. wouldn't normally do that. You would have some Eddie Van Bass Halen trying to fill in every single note. Yeah, so yeah, you, yeah. you know, you would lose that texture that they've developed. The same point. How far can they go with just two of them? Well, Rush went a bloody long way with three of them, you know. Well, that's that thirty-three percent extra. But you're, <laughs> but you're right; they they did go. You're absolutely right. And but I mean, it was sublime, absolutely sublime, fascinating to watch. I, I thought it was a great choice. I, I, I and I just loved the song. I loved the music. And so, please, uh, folks out there, uh, where where should we go if we want to see more of uh, Crownlands? Because I want to see more of Crownlands. A lot could go wrong with that band. <laughs> well, you never. Well, know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, first of all, I know why he's got pointy boots, so he can reach. You know, I can reach the keys. Like, yeah. the move. But then, <laughs> but then, if he has to do the distortion and a top C, he might have to. Huh. <laughs> he'll be unplugging guitar cables with his winkle pickers <laughs> i know and it, it was just and i'm thinking the tour van the tour bus they don't even they don't even need a tour bus they could just have a nice mercedes that's it, you know, and be asleep in the back it's so much better and economical all around it, well yeah they, they have to just split the proceeds they don't have to share it with the bass player you know yeah. which, is, which is probably value for money right there you know but seriously you don't have to have a tour bus do you, you could have a to- uh, toyota camry <laughs> prius but but could but could, if you are the the musician who plays with your feet and your hands, do you get double music money? Like well, I'm playing two people's parts, you know. So well, therefore, I should get uh, twice as much. In the old union days, absolutely yes. Oh, You're really? right. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Because uh, on uh, on Walk on the Wild Side, her, uh, the guy called Herbie who did the bass line, um, he did one bass line on the uh, electric bass, and then he did the other bass line on the uh, upright bass. Um, and you know that's what gives Walk on the Wild Side its unique bass um, uh, from Lou Reed. And uh, but Herbie said he said yeah, well you cut union rules, you got double pay. <laughs> what was it? You know, no, you would do, you would do, but but I don't, I you know, Lord knows what their agreement is, yeah, and I no, doubt they're in. I mean, thing. these two in the union, so I'm walking out now. That's <laughs> half a band gone. You know, I'm, union, union rules. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I was uh, great. Th- th- good choice. Interesting and. um Oh, well, yeah, so please, uh, hey, while you're liking and subscribing, which you obviously do, because that's what keeps us going, uh, is uh, recommend who else we should look at, in, in what other tracks they should do. Is, is that the high watermark of Crown Lands, or, or is there something else? Yeah, well said, well said. All right, fantastic. Love to see more Crown Lands. I really would. Both of them. <laughs> All right, fantastic. See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side. Mm-hmm.